Peace and love YouTube, it's your boy Soul Asher. Today I'm gonna show you how to increase your frames dramatically in uh, Black Desert PS4. So I'm actually gonna share my screen here um, in a couple seconds, but first I just wanted to explain the theory behind this. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you two methods. One method, as most people are already aware of, is going to be the method of actually replacing your internal hard drive, whether you're on a PS4, generic PS4 Slim or PS4 Pro. Replacing the hard drive with a solid state hard drive is going to be mathematically faster because a solid state hard drive is flash data whereas a mechanical hard drive is spinning data. And flash data is going to be read much quicker which is going to allow you quicker load times and less render times from uh, any game that you play including Black Desert. Um, all you simply have to do here is get a solid state from, you know, whatever website of your choosing. Um, I personally got mine from Amazon. Um, this video is not sponsored by Amazon or any solid state, but I personally recommend um, Samsung Evo A60 as this is what I've used and this is what I've recommended to a lot of my guildies uh, in Origin. And many people have been very satisfied by the Samsung. Um, now, you can also get one directly from Best Buy as well. Um, it's all your preference, whatever deal you find best. I think currently, um, at least last time I checked, Amazon was having a sale um, for about half off for most of their solid states. Definitely take a hold of that uh, sale before it ends. Um, so once you get a Samsung 860, again, you know i'm recommending this one if you're not buying this one i don't know if the size is going to fit but most solid states should be uh you know a standard size um don't take my word for it only the samsung 860 evo is what i'm going to say fits now once you replace that hard drive you're going to actually come here uh to the playstation website now once you are on this playstation support website for the system updates you are going to download the not the update file but you actually need the complete system software because you're downloading it on a complete new usb now um, after you have downloaded this file you click agree to terms correct you're going to have to uh, save your file in an update folder but you have to make sure that on the external drive that you create a folder named PS4 and create a folder within that folder named update. Now I'm actually going to connect my USB in one second. Now my USB is connected. I'm going to show you here. Now, within this USB, I have a folder named PS4. Within that PS4 folder, I have a folder named Update. And within the Update folder, I have a file named ps4update.pub. That file name is populated automatically. If you download it more than once, it will name the file with an integer of one or two, depending on how many times you download it. It will not work if it is not named in this complete format, so you have to make sure that it's in this format. Now, once you have this file here, within these two folders, you can actually plug the USB into your PlayStation with the new solid state installed. Okay, so from this point, you're gonna locate the back of your PS4, and you are going to take the back panel off. It should be to the back left. Unscrew the screw that is there. Um, no matter which version, I've done it on the Slim and the Pro. Each has just one screw holding in the hard drive. Take that screw out, unslot the hard drive, just slide it out, it should come right out. There's gonna be four screws on each side of it. You're gonna have to unscrew each of these in order to put the solid state into that slot. All four of these screws have to come off. Now here's me recording from my iPhone showing you how to unscrew screws from a hard drive. I personally do not mean to insult you guys by showing you something simple as unscrewing screws, but just to be thorough, here I am.
unscrewing screws and putting in a solid state. The only thing that you have to actually worry about is the way that you place the solid state. You need to make sure that the ports, um, the where the SATA cables come in, go to the front and the back of the solid state, the flat part with no open ports goes to the closed part and make sure the labels are facing up, not down. And then you insert it back into the PlayStation 4. Or in this system, it's PlayStation Pro. Ports go in, you should hear a click. Screw in the last screw, pretty straightforward. Make sure it's closed. Now, you launch your PlayStation in safe mode by simply holding the power button for about seven seconds. Once you get to the scheme, you're gonna initialize it. Um, connect that USB that I told you about. And once you start the update process, it's going to go through a couple of screen prompts where it's gonna let you know that your data is gonna be removed, but this is a brand new hard drive, so there's really not any data on it. So clearly you just hit yes, and you follow the on-screen prompts. It's pretty straightforward from this point, as long as you can get in a safe mode and actually initiate this process, just allow the system to update um, and go through um, the standard installation process. And once the software is installed for the PlayStation, it's gonna be as though you are starting a brand new PlayStation. You're gonna to have to reinstall all your games. And once your games, well, once Black Desert installed, because let's be real, that's all we play is Black Desert, um, you're gonna set it up as a new game. Now, the other part to this tutorial I wanna teach you about is port forwarding. Port forwarding is going to also give you a huge, insane FPS boost. Well, first you have to have the admin rights to your router. I have a Nighthawk gaming router, R7000P. Um, buying the gaming router is optional. It will help. It is not mandatory because it honestly seems like PlayStation, no matter what, will never fully, completely utilize your download speed capabilities. Um, that being said, um, a gaming router should still help with latency no matter what you're using. I'm just not 100% sure how PlayStation correlates because on my computer, my speeds are much faster than on my PlayStation no matter what. Um, that being said, you know, once you've logged into your router as an admin, um, you have to go to the port forwarding settings. And within these port forwarding settings, you are going to add a service, you name it, and then you label the port the external start port and in port. This is the start port, this is the in port. 3479 is the start port, 3480 is the in port. Now, the external and the internal for me are the same. I'm not sure if it's gonna be the same exact for your router, but that's the way my router is set up. Um, and these settings have worked for me. Um, that being said, I did do 3478 as well as 3479 through 3480. Um, I also did Twitch for streaming um, for 1935. Um, and it seems as though my latency has significantly decreased um, within BDO. Now, where I actually got these ports is from portforward.com slash porch.htm. Um, and I searched Black Desert and it is the Black Desert PlayStation 4 ports. 1935 seems to be a common port used. Um, it's for Twitch. 3478 are the same ports that PlayStation actually uses itself. It's not just Black Desert. Um, so I think just PlayStation 4 in general um, typically uses these ports because most games with PlayStation 4 have these same ports. So this should actually increase your frames hypothetically for any PlayStation 4. Um, I will however express, as a network technician, I will express concerns. Opening a port does allow traffic through that port. That being said, someone who wants to maliciously attack you and knows that your port is open can target you through that port and send the information. The likeliness of you being targeted, I will never know. I just feel the need to actually inform you of this before you open your port. 
I personally know how to secure my computer, so I'm not worried about it. Um, if you don't, then you know that's a risk that you're gonna have to decide. Um, however, like I said, through opening these ports, I have noticed a significant decrease in lag and an increase in frame smoothness while playing Black Desert. Um, let me know if this works for you. Um, it has definitely worked for me 100%. Um, that's all I really want to say for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. Peace and love.